Noel here again. I am back with another episode. Jess and I, J-Well Fit and Fish, are out fishing one of my favorite all-time lakes for a drop shot. So obviously you guys see that I am going to be talking about the drop shot, my favorite. So what you're going to need are little drop shot hooks, teardrop or a little pencil weight with a little thing on the top. That way it just, it will talk about it. I got the uh, Beast Coast Magic Flick and Fire Desire, the Dirty Perch or Bass Candy, all my favorite little bait fish that pop along the bottom. What I'm going to do is show you guys how to tie the Palomar knot and then hopefully we'll uh, catch you guys on the flip side with some bass. So stay tuned. So here are the hooks, the little Magic Flick, a little pencil weight. Typically my favorite hook to throw is a six cents drop shot hook. My favorite, this is just a little blue tungsten, uh, one eighth ounce. Perfect. And that way this will just kind of like migrate through the rocks and stuff. But to start with our pol polymer knot, blah, 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 we're going to put this on about six to 10 pound fluorocarbon. So you put it through the hole here. What you're gonna do is pull out about, I like to pull it about a foot to two feet. And you take that end and go back through the same way it came out, so now we got this knot. Next, I'm gonna take this, I'm going to tie it like that, so, and then I take the hook and put it back through that hole and pull it, and what you're gonna do is take that leader line here and pull it nice and taut as so. So that's all nice and tight like that. However, this is upside down. So what you're gonna do is take that same end of the leader and you're just gonna go back through the hole, up and over, pull it all the way through. Sit face up as you can see. Next, we're gonna take our little weight here. This is that little portion I was talking about, this little eyelet here is really nice because you just put it through. There's no tying involved. Just a little bit hanging out. Give a nice little pull up. Don't break the line though. So that's nice and snug like that. It's not going anywhere. However, if you get stuck in a rock, this will pop off. Your weight will pop off, but not your entire drop shot setup. Next, you do this either with your worms, little finesse worms, or I've got with a magic flick here. And I put it just through the tip of its face just enough so that it sits right in that curvature area. And this is your whole drop shot. So then this will be bouncing up the bottom while this is just suspended above it. And that way the fish will see this thinking it's alone. It's its own little bait fish and it will eat it and you will have yourself a bass on the end of your line. So sometimes this will catch other fish. You shall see. I've actually even caught a mussel on the end of my weight before, but good luck guys. Tag me in your post if you do use this method. It's a good fish. Nice. Nope. Yep. Nice. Oh. Woohoo. Oh, <sighs> finally. Yeah, baby. Beautiful. Oh, God. Beautiful large mouth. Finally. Beautiful large mouth bass, probably like two pounds, but something officially. Small one, but. You're on. It's a small mouth. <laughs> Look at you and your little small mouth. Woohoo! How are you feeling? I feel good. Little guys need love too, guys. Absolutely. Woo! No, no. Woohoo! He'll get bigger. Beautiful. Another catch on the Beast Coast Magic Flick. Woohoo! 
Dirty perch, my friends. Dirty perch. <laughs> cool. What am I on? I'm on. Oh my god, look at the tiniest little fattest. Oh my god. Ow. This is the cutest little fattest smallmouth I have ever seen in my life. This is hilarious. Bye. <laughs> that thing was so cute. <laughs> oh. Come on. That one? Mm-hmm. A good smallie. Yeah. Nice. Now that is what I'm talking about, my friends. Again, look at that hook set. Jeez, me right through. That wasn't coming off. Another one. What a beauty. Jeez. Gorgeous. Time for another one. Oh, it's my last one. Ugh. Okay. East Coast, you're gonna be here from, hearing from me really soon. We also got bass candy, and I think I got actually a few more colors if I don't actually have another dirty perch bag. All right, so the best way to work a drop shot so go ahead and you just take it and cast it and the weight will follow. It just goes, it plops in the water. So then after that, I let the bait sink to the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is just give it a couple little wiggles. So the tip of it, this is why you want a nice light rod. So you wiggle it. It's gonna give it this like, the fish a little action of it as if it's swimming around. That's the easiest way to do it. Oh, geez. And I'm on. And it's gone. But it was a tiny little small mouth. Oh. <laughs> so you guys see it works. <laughs> but that's cool. Next, I like to talk about the actual line. I like between six to 10 pound line. So I stick around with eight, but I believe what I have on right now is six. This one was on a nice L.L. Bean Quest rod. I like this rod. This is actually my trout rod, my panfish rod, but it's super light and it's actually very, very short. It's only five foot six. I like this rod, it's super fast action, like super, it wiggles like crazy as you can see. And nice light line. And that way you get the best feeling action because it's so light. So with that, I like to keep my drag just like set a little bit so that way it still pulls out. So if you do hook onto a fish, you can set the hook. If the drag is a little too loose, you just tighten it really quick as you're putting pressure against the fish. Um, that way you don't unhook it and then you reel in your fish. Um, but yeah, this is how I work a drop shot. Nice light rod, super fast action, light reel, small reel with like about between six to 10 pound line with my hook and weight and my little Beast Coast magic flick. And that is how I fish the drop shot. If you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. Look at you with the tiniest, tiniest little... What the hell? Oh my gosh, we are like killing it with the babies today. I know. Let's see the little cutie. Oh, oh adorable. <laughs> beautiful. I'm gonna love the small ones too, but I need a big one. Truth. Preach it to the choir. <laughs> Another quick tip about fishing the drop shot is that it is easier to fish in more rocky or sandier areas. Sometimes the weight can snag on grass, weeds. Um, I don't throw it in lily pads or anything. I kind of like to stay out kind of like in water like this, a little bit more open water. Sometimes I do throw it along like the skirt line of like lily pads and stuff if I know it's not like a very grassy, weedy place. Um, sometimes little fish like panfish and stuff like to hang out in those areas. But um, as you saw, there are 
some smallmouth and stuff in this lake. Um, yeah, so that is a good tip because there are so many times where it'll be like pretty grassy and I'll throw and I just like snag on everything and then that's when I throw something else because the drop shot in very weedy areas is just not, it's a big old no bueno. Oh look! <laughs> it's so cute. Literally so pretty. This is like the biggest sunfish I think I've like ever caught. Yep. Literally stunning. Wow. Alrighty, well, I hope that you learned something about the drop shot today and that if you do go out and catch anything with it, please feel free to tag me on Instagram, comment on any of my posts or this one on YouTube, follow me over on TikTok, and um, it's just such a fun rig to throw, you guys. So thank you again. I hope you guys get on some fish and I wish you guys the best of luck. And don't forget to follow me at Noel Roth on Instagram, Noel Roth on YouTube, Noel underscore Roth on TikTok. And then thank you to JWell Fit and Fish, my friend Jessica, for f helping me film and taking it on her boat so that we could have a good time and learn something today. Have a good one, guys. Thanks again.